Today's tutorial is on using JAWS Screen Reader with Microsoft Excel. If you are a disability support specialist, you may be called upon to train blind or visually impaired students on how to use JAWS with Excel. Lesson 3, Navigation of Menus and Worksheets. When you open up your sample workbook, you will always be positioned at cell A1. Simply, this is the area where you're going to put your data and your title for columns and rows and so forth for making content. And it's very easy to navigate. You just use the up and down and left and right arrow. So if I want to move to cell one, I press one arrow to the right. Land B1. And it tells us that it's empty and it's the location is B1. If I were to move down the screen fast and across land I14 now it says I'm in I14 and it land I13 if I want to get back to cell A1 all I have to do is press control home first cell land A1 and that is the most important and significant navigation point in the software other than the menu system now the menu system is activated by pressing the alt key Upper ribbon, group box, home. So it's going to give me letter strokes for each of the areas. Now these are things that someone who is just learning Excel will have to go through a bit by bit as there's a lot of content that you can get into. And in our case, the only type of command that we use so far is just saving. You can also use keystrokes for some of these things. And depending on the person's knowledge, they may already have some experience with that. But what we want to do right now is our sheet is named Sheet 1. So if I press Escape, Escape menu and I'm out of the ribbon, what I want to do is show you the keystroke to get to the ribbon. That's Alt-H. Alt and then ribbon, group box, I want to be over here. Ribbon, use left or right arrows to navigate the curve to format and I'm going to press the letter O. o. Then menu, menu, row, I, I want to use the rename sheet command. Now I could just press R or I could use auto, the arrow. Top, the, uh, re mover, rename sheet, o, followed by H. Then I can press enter. Enter leaving menus land A1. Now it's on top of the word sheet one so if I want to call this expenses e -E 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 then I press enter. enter. Now and the sheet A1. is named expenses. If I want to add another sheet, I do the same command to get to the home ribbon. Alt H. Alt H. Upper ribbon, group box, home tab. I press I for insert. I. And then menu, I move down menu. to insert sheet. In, in, insert sheet, Alt follow, enter. Sheet tab, sheet one, sheet one. And again, I will have to rename that. So let's do that quickly. Alt H. O. R. Leaving menus. What E E E H S. I N O E. Enter. Land A1. No, those are the two basic navigation points that you have on the worksheet. You have the name of the worksheet, and you have the data in the worksheet, and of course. The ribbon is the other element. The other thing that you would probably want to teach someone when they're just starting off is how to find a specific location. So if you press the Alt key and press H, H. you want to go Upper all ribbon. the way Two over, all the way over here to find and select. So I'm going to press the keystroke FD. FD. Menu, leaving menus, find dot 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 control plus F to move through items, press up. And if I had a word that I was looking for that was in the spreadsheet, I could use the F and I could replace a word with R. But I want to go down to go. Replace, go to dot 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 control plus G, control plus G. So I'm just going to press the enter key. Enter. Menu, go to dialog, reference colon edit com. And currently it's set at the cell A1. So if I want to go to, let's say, N1, I just type in N1 and then press enter. Enter, land N1. 
and you see the cell is now highlighted N1. So let's do that one more time. So if I press Alt H, Alt H, upper ribbon, FD, lower ribbon, editing group box, FD, and then G, G, leaving menus, go to dialog, reference colon edit combo, and type reference B3. B3. Enter lang, B3. The focus now is over here. And so when you finish putting in content in your worksheet, you always want to save. And the command for that is Control S. So I'm going to press Control S. Control S. And it's automatically saved the worksheet for us.